Hey guys, this is Mr. S. Goofball, and welcome to another Minecraft episode. This time, what we're going to be playing is a little bit different. It's experimental. I've never tried it out, but I decided I'd do it uh, while recording. Um, if you've ever played Skyblock, this is basically the opposite. It's where you go underground and you um, you have to stay underground. Instead of being in the sky, you have to build your tunnels and survive underground. It's got some different areas of difficulty because you're not allowed above ground like at all and so we're gonna try it out see how it goes and we're gonna be calling it uh, under under brick instead of sky block I don't know uh, I'm gonna put in creative modes just for now I'm not gonna have structures on because we won't need them anyways and we're gonna have the seed under brick if you guys want to do that too don't know if you would. Um, we could do like the Tunneler's Dream. We might do that and then we can have a command. Uh, I don't think there's caves, are there? Yeah, there's no caves. I kind of wanted caves. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, default world, no structures, cheats on for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to have those on to change back into survival mode and do some stuff. We're going to have the seed under brick. So now it might apply. don't know if it applies to super flats. Maybe some super flats. Alright, so everything's done. Here we go. Let's see what comes up now. Loading. Normal worlds seem to take forever. Of course, here we go. Alright, we are in a savanna. Can we get out of a savanna? Because I really don't want to be in, in a savanna. I would like to point out that if you are doing what I'm doing and you are going to make a world like mine, I would suggest not doing it in a savanna, desert, ocean, anything like that, uh, just to let you know. And also, at the time of this recording, I had not tested this out at all. Which means that if you want to know exactly how to make this challenge, I have made a video and I will be uploading it soon after this, probably at the third episode of this series, so check it out in the link in the description. Oops. Okay, let's get this and our chicken, we're all ready. Let's make crafting table is the first thing. Then we're going to put that there, then we're going to make a wooden pickaxe. There we go. And now we can get some stone. So, hmm. They don't make it into a plus sign, just go right here. Now I'm not gonna make, well I might make. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a stone pickaxe since we have enough, just so we'll go a little faster for, uh, what do you call it? A entertainment sake, maybe? Uh, because I don't want to be sitting here digging a whole bunch. Of course, that's going to be a lot of what happens. Okay. Now we're going to take this one right here. We're going to put it there for now. Um. Let me dig this part out, I guess. What's our first step? Probably, oh, we need to... We need to get some sort of... Dirt, definitely. And then we need to get coal. Uh, we can make furnace now. Let's put that. Yeah, let's just put that there. Um, huh, we need to find a cave system. Try to get a skeleton. That's one thing. Um, I'm not completely sure what to do. We need dirt. That's a big thing. We could just go mining in some direction. Uh, I'm gonna make another three by three room right here, little doorway. And then I might just sort of might just uh, cut to when I find some dirt, and then we can get on with the next step, which I will tell you when I get there. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I might use my wooden pickaxe since, I, since I'm not gonna be recording this exactly. 
Uh, but I'm going to be trying to find dirt, coal, any other resources so that I can get other stuff started. Dirt is my main priority though. So I'll see you guys in maybe 10 minutes. Don't really know. So be right back. Okay. I found some dirt. Now here's the interesting thing. Here's where we started. And as soon as I dug through, iron right here. Got eight iron. So that's good. Uh, no coal. Coal would be nice though. Because we can make torches and we don't have to worry about monsters spawning. Even though we will need a skeleton. We also need torches more to grow some grass. You gotta have a grass patch first. So I'm gonna dig out all of this dirt. Uh, I might, and then I'll, yeah, I'll come back and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do next. Uh, so next step, which is happening right now, is digging it. Kind of forgot about that step, so I'll be right back. Okay. Dug up all that dirt. We got quite a bit from that. Uh, I also found this iron right next to it, so I'll dig that. Uh, there's one more piece. And now, we have a very large filled out room, which we are going to keep it that way. And we're going to block this off, just in case a creeper sneaks up on us, which I don't want to happen. Um, next step would be probably the grass. We might do that in this area right here. So we're going to dig this out, place down our dirt, and then we're going to place down our one piece of grass, and we got to make sure to keep it lit and not let it, you know, uh, don't want to let it, um, play any blocks placed on it. We don't want it to turn to dirt. Is there even a word for that? I'm not sure. Um, still need to find coal. I might go over here. I might put this dirt back. Oh, that reminds me. I want to do spawn point and uh, world spawn. Oops, set world spawn. Even though it doesn't really make a difference which one of those I do. Of course, world spawn doesn't really exactly set my spawn point. Okay, next step, uh, let that grow. Worried about what might be down there, so I'm just gonna go across it. We'll come back to that later. But for now, this will work. We need to find coal. And soon, because this is gonna get longer and longer, and then it's gonna get uh, mobs spawning in it. Please find coal soon. Okay, well. Might not be like the dirt, it might be a while, so I'll be right back once I find some coal and something else happens. Oh, yay, more dirt. Okay. I'm back. Found a cave, which is really nice in some cases, and also kind of nervous of what could be in here. So I'm going to get some coal. My pick did break, so I'm using the wooden one, but I can still dig coal up. It just takes a lot longer. Okay. I want to keep checking on anything around me. Make sure no creepers or anything else sneaks up on me because I have zero armor. And I just started, and that would not be good my first video so let's see uh, got quite a bit of coal here got some pieces so far not much we might come back to this later I'm just gonna dig this last vein up and then I'm gonna go back uh, we'll come back to it with more pickaxes more torches of course and possibly more armor because there's lots of iron here That's There's all sorts of noises everywhere. I don't know where they're coming from, so. Nothing spawned in my tunnel yet. I don't like caves that much. Because since they're so big and it's really hard to light them up without 
you know, being afraid of something not being lit up, that anything could just spawn and walk up on you. Not to mention blocking off tunnels is super hard to do. That is one reason why I thought that, um, you know, doing the underground version of Skyblock would be a little harder is because you have to deal with monsters more than you can, more than you have to in Skyblock. I mean, Skyblock, uh, mob farms are easy, don't have to light up anything. Not to mention, uh, if your regular platform, your base, you can light it up super easily because everything was built by you so you can do it easily. Okay, this pick is almost broken too now. Um, let me light this up. Let's make some more torches like that. Let's also make even more. There we go. Lots of torches. Let's light this place up a little bit. I'm gonna place one there. Go down here, maybe right there. This way, right there. That should be plenty of light up for that place. And let's put some more torches here. We have some more grass. That's awesome. Put another torch there to help that grow. Okay. Now we need bones more than anything. Let's put this in there. I'll do for now. Um, I want to make armor. It's definitely one thing. Let's put a stack of cobblestone there. It's getting kind of close to the end of the episode. We haven't done a whole lot, but we did find a cave. We got some coal. We have grass growing. Oh, I should have made a sword. This is a dead end down here, so we don't have to worry about monsters being down here because we're in the area. From coming from that area, they you know could be monsters. Um Make sure we have a way out. Oh, that was the worst spot to put it in. There we go. Let's see what's down here. We have a cave down that way. That's nice. Apparently lava. Maybe mine shaft. I don't think there's mine shaft. We were in spectator mode, right? We didn't see a mine shaft. Although that is cheaty, it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, I have a normal mode. I want to have an easy. I'm not ready for normal mode yet. I've always played in easy and actually I have a bit of confession. I used to play completely in peaceful mode. Except for at night when I would stand on my roof once I had a house built and I would uh, shoot the monsters from my roof. Is that the first thing we'll make? No. Let's do that. Perfect. That's lots of armor. Um, well, that's cooking. Let's go get some more iron. Ooh, I know I should have made a sword. I'm gonna go do that now. Yep, here it comes. Okay, it's forgotten about me. At least I have armor now. I can deal with the creeper, but... Especially since I can make a helmet now. And... Oh, why am I looking in there? I have everything I need. And a sword. Let's do that. 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 Alright. Some armor. Could also get close enough, do that, and boom. Easy peasy. Might be cheaty, but I don't even care. Because it works.
Alright, nothing down here. Let's light this area up. This is a future mining site. We'll get that coal when we need it. Here, like this up. Come on. I don't like it when it does like the, the white glitches or whatever you call them. Oh, there's a zombie. Let's kill it. Hello. How about we eat first? Um. Perfect. Hit us a little bit, but doesn't really take a whole lot of damage. Oh. We got the entire... Oh. Do we have a zombie spawner? That would be amazing to start out with. Zombie spawner. I'm almost positive. It's not exactly a good thing right now, because we have lots of zombies now. Whoa. Oh, they can just jump over. Come on. Aha! So many. Why are there so many? Oh yeah, zombie spawner. I'm, I'm sure of it now. There's so many zombies here. Watch behind us. Zombies pack, you know, make packs or groups or whatever, so... You gotta be careful that we don't accidentally get some from behind we don't know about. Alright, let's break through. And should we just charge in there? See what's ahead? Maybe there's not a zombie spawner? Maybe there is? Oh, come on, how can I not hit you? Where are you coming from? Where did all you guys come from? Guess there's just a lot of zombies. Big coincidence. Those were that was a lot. Okay. Let's get rid of this. This was useless and oh. There's a hole there. And there's a witch. Let's kill it. Oh, nothing. Oh, man. Um. Let's just go back up this way. I really thought there would be a zombie spawner, but I guess not. Sounded like there should have been. Oh, is this... Oh, man. Is that guy's eyes blown? Sure did look like it. Okay. We don't have any skeleton like bones or anything like that. Anything from the skeleton. Uh let's ignore that way. Look around over here for some more ores and things. It's a little complicated right here, which I don't like, because more areas for monsters to come from. Let's look right here. This is a dead end. And the ores, and some coal, not really anything. So we at least lit that up. Let's make a couple more torches. Oops. I didn't mean to play it there, but that works. Okay. Let's get this iron that I saw right here. 
Nothing coming after us. Nothing else. How much iron? Five iron, not much. Uh, put that there. Let's get a piece of coal. Let's replace those torches we made just a second ago. And let's see. We have some water here and an enderman. Water's nice. We need water. Uh, we don't have. If we could make a bucket, well, let's get this iron here first. That'll help pay for the bucket at least. And for now. Let's do that. Let's see. Let's keep going a little bit farther. Kill this Enderman. See if this goes to a dead end. And... How did you hit me? Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna deal with that zombie right now. Let's make a bucket, get that water there because we don't have any yet. We are definitely gonna need it. There's some iron there, I'm gonna ignore that. Oh, skeleton. We need that skeleton. Should we? Or should I? I don't know what's down there. Oh, well, that answers it. So if I survive, I'm not going to survive. Oh, we respawned. All my stuff is down there. I didn't leave any wood back here. Why would I do that? I need to make a, a spot for a tree. Okay. All our armor that we made, everything. How are we gonna do this? Okay, we have some stuff. Oh, spiders are more dangerous. Kill me. Oh. That was definitely a mistake to even think about going down there, but happened to me anyway. Can't do anything about it. Creeper. I don't think I got all my stuff, so. I want to blow it up. Okay, we got it. Yep, we didn't get all our stuff. We forgot wood. There's something. All our iron. You know it's not that much. Alright, let's get that piece of wood. Go over here. Let's go over near this light. That's nice. Got some lava. And let's get our food. There it is. Sword is almost broken now. We got bones, I believe. Well, bad idea, but turned out okay. Cobblestone. Perfect. Uh, 
Uh, where did I come from? Oh, I came from this way. Alright. Well, we got what we wanted in a terrible way. Um. Okay, next step. We need seeds. That's why we had to grow this grass. We have one seed. Which is not great, but. Oh, two seed. Three seed. Ooh, that was a lot. Six seed. Nothing. And nothing. Last two are for nothing. Okay, now we need a farm. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go this one right here. This is where our water is gonna go. I'm gonna put cobblestone down there for now. We're gonna keep that torch there for just a second. We make the oops, wrong thing. Okay. Uh, there we go one in there. Don't want to use up too much coal. Let me get that water. This is why I need the waters for the uh, the farm. Because water can't, or farms can't grow without water, of course. There we go. Okay. So we have the water. Let's go back. I know where more water is, but it's down there in that place where we fell. I'm not going to do that right now, of course. And... Perfect. So now we have a food, tor food source. Well, we got a farm going in the first episode. That has never happened in Skyblock. Of course, that's because it's so hard to get bone meal. And also dirt. And also, you fall off multiple times, or something to do. Okay, so, this is the end of the episode. I um, hope you enjoyed this episode. This is a little bit different than, you know, Skyblock or normal Minecraft things that I do. But, I think it might end up being fun, and we can get a really cool looking base. It's not as difficult as I thought it would be. Maybe I'll put it, I might put it back to normal mode. That might make it a little more difficult. Even though I have already died once in 40 minutes, of course, ended up being okay in the end. But that's all for me right now. I'm going to be, I might work on this uh, off camera to get a better farm. Might, I'm going to dig all this out from right here so we have the biggest farm we can get with one bucket. I'm going to probably get another bucket of water. I'm going to light up that hole that we fell down right there and explore some more caves. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment uh, on what you think I should do to make it maybe a little harder. Maybe I'll throw away some of my food, like 16 pieces of chicken. How much would I have left? I have 10 pieces left. That might be something I could do since we have a farm now. Um, I need to plant the, the trees because we definitely will need wood. Maybe I should also get rid of. I might. I might get rid of 16 of wood of my wood and my chicken because we have plenty of that. And making a tree farm is gonna be a little more difficult because we have to make more room. But we still have plenty of wood, so I'm gonna get rid of some of my wood. If you guys think that's a good idea, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.